Hello everyone. Today I'll be sharing with you the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced and some of its key features. I'm the founder of Ethics Global Private Limited and we are the authorized DJI dealer in Singapore. We also conduct courses like the very popular UAPL and also provide professional services such as building facade inspections, visual and thermal inspections, 2D, 3D mapping, and aerial photography. We carry out some R&D uh, projects combining our passion for mechanical systems, robotics, and software. And also we build software for, to visualize the drone data that we collect. So this is what is some of the most current uh, popular drones. You have the M2ED, Phantom 4, and the M300. Or in terms of the camera, uh, M2ED has a low quality thermal camera, but quite a good uh, RGB camera. Uh, the Phantom 4, of course, um, very popular and has a very, very good uh, RGB camera, but there's no thermal. Uh, the M300 is very versatile. Uh, the H20T comes with a good uh, thermal camera and a good RGB. In addition, it has good zoom. Uh, in terms of the UAPL license for the first two drones, uh, under 7 kg, and then for the M300, uh, when fully loaded, uh, under 25 kg. So the uh, RTK availability is not available for the M2ED and the Phantom 4, but it's available for the M300. And in terms of the additional payload, uh, as I've described in the unboxing uh, video just now, uh, you can have the LED light, the speaker for the M2ED, but you can't add additional payload for the Phantom 4, and you can definitely add a lot of uh, uh, payloads for the M300, like search light, speaker, or any third-party gimbal. There's a whole ecosystem of third-party gimbal that you can find for the M300. So this is just to set the context of what's available right now, and I'll go into the M2EA. So first up, uh, the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced still very light at 909 grams. Uh, flight time on maximum is on 31 minutes, about 27 minutes with the RTK head uh, attached to it. So maximum speed, descent speed, uh, all the specification follows very closely to what the Mavic 2 uh, have. Uh, bear in mind that this works with only the DJI smart controller. So it cannot work with the previous uh, Mavic 2 remote that you might currently already have. Uh, maximum transmission range in Singapore, which is following the C standard, would be six kilometers. So just a side-by-side -side comparison to the current M2ED, uh, flight time about the same, uh, but in terms of uh, camera, a very huge difference. The M2ED comes with a 12 megapixel camera, but in the M2EA is 48 megapixel. And in terms of digital zoom, all the way up to 32 times zoom as well. And thermal, previously M2ED, because of using the FLIR camera, has an export restriction. The Singapore version goes up to only 9 hertz, which is 9 frames per second. But the M2EA has no such restriction. It's 640 by 512 resolution. On top of that, it goes all the way up to 30 frames per second. So in terms of moving objects, uh, chasing moving objects like cars, like boats, uh, you will see it a lot, a lot better. Of course, also with the 16 times digital zoom. Uh, now the M2EA also supports the brand new RTK, but bear in mind that this RTK will not uh, allow you to do a mapping type of accuracy. Its main purpose is to hold position accuracy of the drone. So it is very unlike, for example, the Phantom 4 RTK, which is made to do survey grade uh, mapping work. Uh, this is not made to do survey grade mapping work at this point of time. Uh, it is only for the drone to hold very accurate position. Uh, in terms of the remote control, again, uh, you can for the M2ED, you can choose between the non-smart remote and the smart remote, but for the M2EA, only the smart remote. And the waypoints, because of the internal memory upgrade, has also greatly increased from 99 all the way to 240. Okay. And those of the speed, uh, ascent and descent speed also increase. Ascent speed is now 6 meters per second and the descent speed is 5 meters per second. 
Again, the highlight of the M2E, of course, is the thermal camera. You get a 640 by 512, which is very similar to the H20T uh, or the X-T2 thermal camera. But of course, to be honest, the H20T and X-T2 does still have a, a slight advantage over it. Why? Uh, because of the uh, better focal length uh, offered on the H20T and the X-T2. Uh, it comes with a 16 times digital zoom. Uh, in terms of visual sensor, it's 48 megapixel with a 32 times zoom. And of course, you can add on the RTK module. Uh, again, the RTK module, when you add it on, uh, there is no need for a ground-based station, unlike uh, the Matrix 200 or 300 series. Uh, what you do to connect to it is actually uh, on the smart remote, uh, you have an internet connection and you will actually dial into the um, n -trip, uh, or rather the uh, in Singapore, that will be the Siren network uh, to get the correction data over the internet. So we have done a whole series of camera comparison and we're using the Phantom 4, the M2ED and the M2EA in our comparison. So here we have a, what we call a picture of a test a crack gauge or the, the various thickness of the crack uh, from uh, 1 mm uh, all the way to a 1 cm uh, crack, as you can see over here. And we have taken photos of these uh, various crack sizes uh, from five meters away. You can see the M2EA, the M2ED, and the Phantom 4 uh, Pro. And you can pay attention uh, to the 1 mm uh, crack line. And you can see that for the M2ED, it gets a bit blurry, but for the M2EA, it's still very sharp. And of course, the Phantom 4 at five meters is still very sharp. Now at 10 meters away, uh, it's very clear that M2ED struggles at this uh, distance because of its 12 megapixel camera. But for both the Phantom 4 Pro and the M2EA, uh, one mm crack is still, I would say, relatively sharp and uh, very visible. So a lot of benefits of the 48 megapixel uh, camera. So you can able to always crop. So you don't have to uh, always be on a zoom in to get what you want. You can uh, just focus on the on uh, zooming out, taking the whole photo and cropping areas where you need at post-production. Of course, it is uh, very time efficient. And it means that your drone can also fly further away and still get the same quality as you would uh, on M2ED. And when the drone is hovering further away, you can capture a much wider area. And so this means efficiency in inspection jobs as well. So as an example, uh, today, let's say you want to capture the data at one pixel to be one mm. Well, on the M2ED, uh, it will cover a frontage of 4.1 meters by flying 2.2 meters away. But for the M2EA, you can actually cover a frontage of eight meters and fly further away at 4.4 meters because of its 48 megapixel camera. This means that for a typical facade inspection job, while you're flying on an up and down kind of fashion, you can actually cut the number of lines that you fly by up to half. So instead of six, for example, you only need to fly three lines now. And this means that for the same quality of photo that you expect of the M2ED, you're actually completing the job in double the in, in half the time. So this is an example of cropping an image and still preserving its uh, quality. So you can just focus on taking the whole image and at the post-production stage, you can then zoom in to the cracks, which is the case over here and here as well. And then now for the thermal camera. So the M2ED, below and M2EA above, a very big difference in terms of this resolution. And because of this resolution difference, for things that you typically can't really see clearly, for example, the hot mark on the inside, it's now very visible on M2EA. So again, a 640 by 512 uh, resolution and a 30 Hertz frame rate and a plus minus two degrees Celsius temperature measurement accuracy. 
but for the M2ED, this is actually a plus minus five degrees temperature measurement accuracy. So again, at five meters, the M2EA on the left versus the M2ED on the right. And then at five meters again, you can see the details. For example, the watch, you can see that on the left is very clear, on the right, you can't really see it. And then again, at 10 meters away, and we have a video to show you about its frame rate. So this is at 30 frames per second. And you can clearly see that when the water splashes and touches the wall, uh, small droplets can still be seen, again, because of its resolution. Here you can see the M2EA being used in a bush fire. And you can see that in the thermal camera live view, the fire is very clearly, can be very clearly seen, uh, but you can't actually see it on the RGB camera. Therefore, it is very useful to have a high resolution thermal camera. And only when the RGB camera is zoomed in, you can actually see uh, the fire. So we have come to the end of the uh, webinar. Uh, today, the recommended retail price of the M2EA goes for $6,936. And usually people buy it with the Fly More Kit, which comes with two more batteries, spare propellers, and the uh, multi-charger. And that goes for additional $556. Uh, please do drop us an uh, email uh, if you want to inquire about it or want to see a live demo. Uh, but otherwise, I'll be happy to take any questions that you might have with regards to the M2EA. Thanks. So I'll be taking some live questions.